Yuki, look there. Look at that. What's that? Say hi, buddy. They missed you. Can I have a kiss, Bubba? Hey, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Raif Darazi here and today I want to talk about a new HIV, potential HIV vaccine that is going into clinical trials this fall 2020, yet another way that we are working towards ending the HIV epidemic. And so let's dive right in. There was an article that was published yesterday by the LA Times on the 6th. So I'm going to be basically summarizing what this article and what the information from the tr clinical trial, as it's stated on NIH.gov, had to say. More than 37 million, that's 37 million people, are living with HIV. And, get this, every single day, it is spread to approximately 5,000 new people, which amounts to approximately 1.8 million new transmissions of HIV every year. And of those 1.8 million, 10%, that's 180,000, are newborns. So it's being transmitted from um, parent to child. In the United States, men who have sex with men account for nearly two thirds of new HIV infections. That's a lot. And the nearly 25 million transgender people around the world, approximately 50 times more at risk of getting HIV than the general population. Now in Eastern and Southern Africa, women and girls are 60% of people living with HIV. That's six, zero, 60%. HIV does not discriminate. It is not just a virus that affects the LGBT community, as you can tell by those living in Eastern and Southern Africa. It, it affects large swaths of people, and it is something that we are fighting to tackle every day here in the US and around the world. And so this new vaccine potential vaccine that's going into clinical trials is yet another avenue from which we can poke back and say, not today, HIV. <laughs> A little bit of tidbits about HIV. HIV has more genetic diversity than any other known virus. Why? Because as HIV replicates itself, it's not very good at it, so it ends up having a lot of mistakes in its genetic coding, which are known as mutations. So the virus mutates a lot on accident. And regardless of it mutating so much, it's able to survive with the new mutations. So every time that happens, you're essentially creating a, a potentially new strain of the virus that is going to function in a slightly different way. So if you're creating a vaccine that only targets one strain, that's not enough. That's not gonna cut it because the virus is constantly mutating and creating new strains. And we need a vaccine that's gonna be able to tackle multiple large strains of the virus to really have any practical large scale use. Johnson & Johnson is conducting the large scale clinical trial and it, the trial is called Mosaic Go. So it's like mosaic, but with an O at the end their potential vaccine is designed to be effective against multiple strains of HIV. And that's exactly what we want. The scientists plan to enroll 38 healthy participants at 50 trial sites located North and South America and in Europe. So in North America, it's gonna be the US as well as Mexico. South America, we've got Argentina, Brazil, Peru, and then in Europe, Italy, Poland, and Spain. So that's what I was able to see on the NIH website as far as where they're gonna have um, clinical trial sites. If you're interested, it's gonna be in the fall, so you might wanna look that up if you wanna be a part of that study. The study will be a double blind, meaning that some of the participants will receive the experimental vaccine, while others will receive a placebo. And a placebo is basically nothing. It could be saline water. And that's just to ensure that the medicine is actually what is causing the effects in the participant and not the placebo effect of people thinking that they're receiving treatment and that somehow having an effect on the virus in their body. Double blind, got participants with the experimental vaccine, some placebo, and also neither the participants nor the researchers will know who is getting what until the end. Now I wanna reiterate, again, this is not the only clinical trial that's going on for an experimental vaccine. There's, for example, one in Sub-Saharan Africa. A similar vaccine is being tested on 2,600 women who in that region are the most at-risk population for HIV transmission. That trial began in 2017 
and the results from that won't be available till minimum 2021. There are also other trials going on in North and South America as well as Africa. I want to quote from the LA Times article that researchers with the International AIDS Vaccine Initiative determined that a vaccine that's 70% effective would do more to prevent new infections than PrEP. So PrEP is a pill that you can take once a day, you take it every day, and it prevents HIV transmission by I think 96 to 96 to 99%, which is amazing. It's a huge you know, jump that we've made to be able to do that, to offer that to people. What they're saying is that if this vaccine is 70% effective, it will do more to prevent new HIV transmissions than PrEP. Now the Mosaico trial is pushing for 65% effectiveness. That is their specific goal. Being able to have a vaccine um, would be an amazing advancement towards ending the HIV epidemic, even at 65% efficacy. That combined with PrEP in conjunction with safer sex practices like using condoms, also U equals U or undetectable equals untransmittable. For those of us living with HIV, when you are on effective treatment and the virus is suppressed in the blood and considered undetectable for six months or more, then you can no longer sexually transmit the virus and are considered um, untransmittable. So all of these things combined with education and stigma reduction, access to healthcare, are going to have an incredible impact on our ability to combat HIV transmissions and the epidemic as we are continuing to work towards a functional and practical cure for the general population. So that's my little tidbit I wanna share with you guys. Just another reason for us to continue to have hope and to continue to go about living our lives knowing that HIV is not gonna be something that has to restrict, limit, or be a source of stigma or hold us back for anything really. So I will keep you guys updated. Happy New Year. I hope this great news finds you well and I will be in touch soon. Let me know what you guys think. As always, like this video if you liked it, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Say bye, buddy. Come here, come here. Say goodbye, say goodbye. Bye. Good boy. <laughs>